What is going on YouTube? My name is Blake and most of you probably know me as Zebo. But today I have a quick tutorial for you guys in After Effects. And this isn't going to be my usual tutorial on an actual effect or anything. Today I'm just going to be going over the basics of After Effects and everything you should expect to experience when you first download After Effects. And I'm just going to give you guys some basic tips on what to do. Um, what's going to be going on in After Effects if you're new to the program. And so if you're already advanced with After Effects and already know what you're doing, um, sorry, this is not the tutorial for you, but I may actually be doing an advanced After Effects tutorial here in the future if I do get enough requests for it. And so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I have the version Adobe After Effects CS5. And you can see here, I just open it up and most of you, this is what your screen is going to look like once you open it up. You can see up here you have all of your file edit, all those commands and stuff up there. Um, right here is going to be your toolbar, your basics, um, you can add text, your masking tool, um, your hand tool where you can move stuff around, zoom in and out. And over here is your workspace. You can actually change this, um, go to all panels. You can get all these panels right here. You can actually click on them and move them around like that if you wanted to do that. Or you can come down here and go to reset all panels. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. You can actually make your own workspace and put it all how you want it and then save it. Just go to new workspace. And so now what I'm going to be showing you guys is just how to get a basic composition started. And so just go to file, new project, or print press Control alt n and if we come over here this is going to be our effect controls and our project and then we can see our composition and all this stuff up here and under this project tab is where everything is going to be basically stored that you're going to be using in your project and so if we right click in this box we can actually make a new composition make a new folder a new Adobe Photoshop file or we can import any type of footage and so I'm just gonna go over here go do import file and let's just get a random clip here um, I'm just gonna get this Call of Duty feed and if we see now under our project we actually have this clip here that we imported it in and if any of you guys are new to the program if you've been using iMovie or anything you know when you import it in it's gonna take a while it's going to have to import it. After Effects is actually automatic. Um, it's just going to import it in. And so we have our clip here. If we click on it, we can see it has all of the information here. 1280 by 720, 59.94, blah, blah, blah. And so what we can do if we want to get it down here to edit it is we can actually come up here, go to Composition, New Composition, and we can mess with all this. Um, you can make it high definition, you can use any of these presets, you can make a Blu-ray movie, you can use any of this, but um, honestly that's pretty complicated and so what I like to do is just get the clip and drag it right here on top of this button right here. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little box thing and it says create a new composition when you mouse over it. And so if we see now we have our entire clip here and it is in its very own composition and the settings are all matched perfectly for it and so it's 1280 by 720 um, 59.94 frames per second etc and we can see up here that we have this new composition and it is 59.94 frames per second and all that and so if we come up here go to composition composition settings we can see all our settings here once again we can rename it let's rename it tutorial and I would recommend editing in 59.94 seconds if you're editing Call of Duty or anything like that. If you're editing real life, real life stuff, it's all just going to depend on the camera you used, um, what frames per second you actually recorded your clips in. And so um, if you're doing a full episode, what I usually do is just change this duration to about a minute or two. And then we can come down here to these mountains and drag it in and out to zoom in. And we can see that it's however long we set it up here in our composition settings. And so let's say that we wanted to get another clip. And instead of right clicking and importing it today, we just want to go 
to our actual um, browser and so let's just drag this in you can actually just drag it in and it's going to be the exact same you can actually create a new composition just like we did previously by dragging it on top of there and we can see now that we can rearrange these by dragging them back and forth not sure what happened there just drag it back down there and so if we make one more new composition we can see that we now have both of these compositions here in their own separate clips you can edit the compositions and so there's that for the composition settings or you can actually drag this clip in to the uh, actual composition that you already have started and let's X out of this one and so now we have both of these clips back to back and that's pretty good if you're going to be rendering out multiple clips or anything like that and another question a lot of you guys ask me is about compositions inside of compositions and so we can see that we have this composition here which we already started it earlier but we X'd out of it and so if we just want to drag this down here um, if you have any special effects or anything in this then it's actually going to be inside this composition all you need to do is double click on it and it'll open it up in a new tab let's say that we want to come up here to the effect and let's go to color correction black and white and we can see now that it's black and white we didn't have to mess with any of that but if we come back over here to our tutorial we can see that it is actually the um, clip right here is black and white and it's in the composition and so you can come to this composition edit it do whatever you need to and also another thing I wanted to mention is let's say you have a bunch of clips like that let's go ahead and delete that composition and you have way too many layers what you can do is just highlight both of these and come up here go to composition and let's hit or actually go to layer pre-compose or you can hit control shift C and move all attribute attributes to the new composition and hit OK so now we can see that we have this one composition here with both of our clips but it's just going to be in one layer and so that's really useful if you're using a lot of special effects on one clip or anything like that and also you have this effects and presets tab over here you can search for whatever you want um, just search for color correction and all the colors will pop up and stuff so that's really useful as well and if you're planning on previewing this after effects is a non-linear preview I think that I believe that's what it's called I'm not 100% positive but I know like in Sony Vegas you can just play it and it'll play um, and after effects you actually either have to just scrub through it like this or you can come up here to the preview tab you can hit play and if your computer is good enough it'll play it at normal speed and I have a pretty good computer and it's still not able to play at normal speed and so um, you can see up here that it's playing at 35 FPS that's what my computer supports based on its memory and everything and so you can either do that or you can come up here to the RAM preview and hit that and if we wait for a second it will actually load this up you can see that it's rendering these frames and it's just rendering them into the After Effects pro project file and so now if we just click down here we can see that it plays it through in full motion in um, regular time and so guys I'm pretty sure that's all I have for this tutorial um, you can mess around with all these effects up here the horizontal type tool um, just click and edit it and next tutorial if you guys if I get enough positive feedback on this I'll be bringing you guys another tutorial and some more basics and after effects if you're wondering how to do it or if you guys want another basics tutorial let's say on Sony Vegas or Cinema 4D or something like that I would be more than happy to bring that tutorial for you guys and so just leave your comments let me know what you guys think and don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something new from this tutorial so um, watch my last tutorial at the end of this video and so thanks for watching guys I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you next time.